Speaking, Speaking of things out there in space. Yeah. That poop tacos. Cool. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that poop tacos? Pooping tacos. Things in space that are pooping tacos. Is that what your story is about? Yes. Mm. Pooping tacos. Are well, they tacos were... that poop or eh, whatever? No. Yeah, they're tacos oh, we... that poop. It's not. Okay. We've now spent... That's not what we're about to talk about. Okay. God. Okay. So. Um... <laughs> <laughs> this is actually not new this actually came out a few weeks ago and i keep meaning to bring it up on here and then i never did but anyway there have been some mysterious objects found in deep space that astronomers don't know what they are uh they are there are four of them that they can see in the radio wavelengths but no other wavelengths they're circular they're brighter along their edges and they're unlike any class of astronomical object ever seen before UFOs. And right now they're calling them odd radio circles or orcs. So maybe I should have started the, the, the video or the, the podcast by saying we found orcs in space. <laughs> true. Um, they are uh, found away from the gal gal uh, Milky Way's galactic plane and around one arc minute across. So it's they don't know if it's like deep space from another galaxy or from our inside our own galaxy or whatever. Um, but yeah, it's. They've talked about ruling out things like supernovas, star forming galaxies, planetary nebulas, gravitational lensing. Um, all of that's been ruled out, so they don't they don't really know what this is. It says it's mm. a it's a new phenomenon that we haven't fully probed yet. That's according to Christine Speckens, astronomer at the Royal Military College of Canada and the Queen's University. Hmm. So So it's a yeah. new celestial object. We've not how did we? Yeah, they don't. They don't know what this is, but they're giant uh, radio objects that are circular, and they're like bright around the edges, so they're like big donuts in space. How did we just find a bunch of them? Like, how did that happen? We went from like none to like we found four or multiple. Uh, well, it sounds. I mean, it it is crazy, right? Like, it. Uh, who Scott Manley did that thing with the asteroids where it shows like a timeline of what how many asteroids we thought there were. Right. And mm. and it's just insane. And every year it's like, oh, there's, you know, 80,000 more that we didn't previously know of. Right. It's insane. Well, exoplanets. Yeah, exoplanets too, especially. I'm still fascinated with this whole Planet Nine concept where there's like mm. a massive, because the orbits of the planets don't quite add up correctly. Yeah. Like, and so you there has to be something else that's creating just a little bit of an extra pull in another direction. Otherwise it, because, yeah, the whole orbital mechanics stuff just doesn't really work, given what we know about the current planet, so there has to be something else. Mm -hmm. like, I, I, I love that stuff, because it just shows how, uh, just how much we don't know, you know? Yep. Yeah. And well, so, uh, yeah, that's how we found Neptune, was the orbit of Uranus was off, and there was something perturbing it. Right. Uh, I, I still need to get a shirt made that says Uranus is perturbed, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, like they, they did the math and we're like, well, it should, if there's something there, it should be right about there. And they, you know, looked up there and there it was, they found Neptune. Um, but then they started noticing that Neptune was similarly kind of though something perturbing its orbit. And we've never quite figured out what that might be. Um, when looking for that is when Percival Lowell found, uh, Pluto, but Pluto is like way too small to, yeah do anything like well that. And, and there's that whole thing about how like we all kind of owe our existence to jupiter because of how it pulls oh, yeah. us further out and whatever and and why is mars so small it should be way bigger than what it is like all these kind of unsolved mysteries in our own solar system when we'd all feel like oh yeah we've we figured it all out and literally we have no like so many <laughs> things are just completely unknown yeah yeah yeah. Well, you were asking how they found this. It says right here it was the Evolutionary Map of the Universe survey from um, the Australian Square Kilometer Array Pathfinder. So it was the EMU from the ASCAP. <laughs> um, it has 36 dish antennas which work together to observe wide-angle view of the night sky. And that's how they found them. Wow. Yeah. And, and then and the another one was, the f it's on the, it says the, they found the fourth one uh, in India. Oh, yeah. Cool. Oh, and that's awesome. Then by having another different way of observing it, it helped uh, astronomers realize it was real, not some kind of issue caused by the, the ASCAP. <laughs> <laughs> Damn ASCAP. Wait, Joe, you did a video about that, right? Where it was like a radio frequency that they thought was something and it turned out to be the microwave in the building or something like that. 
Um, I've heard that. I don't know if I've put that in a video before, though. It was There's like, been uh, one, it, it, one... It, it, is it when they discovered the signal from the Big Bang or something like that, where there was like this radio signal that they couldn't explain? It turned out, you know, something about the microwave. And, and, and at the same time, at noon every day, <laughs> the, the signal would appear. Right. Well, there's right. that story, and there was one, and this goes way back to when they had those big, like, bell-shaped, um, was that a microwave dish, or uh, maybe that was radio? But anyway, there was there was a bird's nest inside of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say, they yeah, they thought that they had poop. found something, and it turns out there was a bird's nest in it. Yep. I remember that one. So, no, no bird's nest here. They <laughs> they did verify it was somewhere else, but anyway. That's awesome. We found a new thing in space. I think that's worth talking Good about. Good job, yeah, Australia, for, started for leading that one. <laughs> Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this clip from our show. If that's just not enough for you and you want to watch the full episode, you can go to olfpod.com slash YT. And if you want more from us, you can consider becoming a Patreon member. You'll get early access to episodes. You can join our awesome community. You can actually watch us record live and get your name in the credits by going to olfpod.com slash Patreon. So thanks everyone for watching. Check back every Friday for new clips here and new episodes on the main channel. Thanks, everybody.